In an upcoming interview with Barbara Walters, Sarah Palin says she believes she can beat Obama in 2012. The way things are going right now, Bristol Palin could beat Obama. It's Wednesday, November 24th, coming up live on The View. The stakes are high in hot topics, from Joy and Whoopi settling up their Dancing with the Stars bed, to Barbara giving you an exclusive first look at her Thanksgiving visit with President and Mrs. Obama, and confessing what she swiped from the White House this time. Plus, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Admiral Mike Mullen, is telling the Red, White, and View how safe we are from terror on the busiest travel day of the year, if the North and South Korean conflict could drag the U.S. into another war, and his wife Deborah is exposing how veterans don't get the hero's welcome they deserve once they get home. Then, Bristol, Jennifer, and Kyle gave it all they had last night. And today, all three couples who went to battle on the Dancing with the Stars finale are hitting the floor here. All that, hot topics, and more coming up live on The View. Jennifer Gray, the yeah. champion of this season's Dance with the Stars. Yeah. And Jennifer Kyle Massey and Bristol Palin and their partners are dancing today on The View. And Jennifer's not the only winner here. Pay up, Joy Behar. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I only have ones. One, two, three. Welcome. You're lucky she didn't bring your pay. Listen, I love when she's been dancing in the strip clubs again. Because that's when I see the ones. But you know what? That's Thank you, baby. Wow. That's a lot of cash. Yes. Now, I'm happy that you won. The, it, the American people have spoken, and Bristol won and good, I'd lost, and good for America. <laughs> No, no, that's I mean, not what she mean. I, I think won the said, bet. Yeah, yeah, you won I mean, the she bet. won the bet. I, won the bet. I yeah, lost that. the bet. I don't yes. even know what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I'll tell you. Well, let's stop talking about it, because we'll talk about it much more. But, Barbara, <laughs> tell everyone, please, where you were yesterday. Oh, oh, by the way, we should mention that the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Admiral Mullen, yes. was on with us today. Yes, with his wife. yes, yes. That's a very big deal. It's well, deal. I was at the White House. <laughs> no, I was at the White by. House because uh, I, I did a wonderful interview with the President and Mrs. Obama. It's the first time they've sat down to do an right. interview together for a year, and I did one with them two years ago, right. and they're wonderful. Uh, together, right. and um, you'll this see that I'm going to. This is yes. This is for special. Thank you, Whoopi. This Friday night at Friday. ten o'clock. This Friday at ten o'clock. But we have a little bit to show you. And I never like to come back from the White House empty-handed. So in case you're doing a little Thanksgiving. Oh, thank you. Ah, I didn't have much it. more. This is all you could steal. Yes, it was all. The <laughs> I tried nice. to bring you a chair goods. from the blue room, Thank but you. I couldn't get it down. <laughs> but I brought this, something um... special for you. Oh, you did, Barbara? What yes, you... because President Obama, uh, a, a while back, really, wrote a, a book for his children. Yeah. And it's called Of the Icing, A Letter to My Daughters. And I asked him if he would sign a letter for Jeffrey. He wrote something for yes. Jeffrey? Oh, my God. <laughs> President Obama, dream big dreams. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's right. My pleasure. We were happy to do it. Oh, man. That's <laughs> nice. That's so Very cool. Nice. You know, you are remarkable because you're there at, at the White House with the President and the First Lady, and you still, in that moment, really know us so well and think of Sherry. I think that is Thank unreal. You. Bye -bye. Okay. Okay. Jeffrey. Listen, happy Thanksgiving, my darling. All I got is this lousy napkin. Yeah, but I love you all. <laughs> I think
think of you all the time. So I just want to tell you a little bit about this interview, because the president talks about uh, North Korea and our relationship oh, yeah. with them. We should talk to the admiral about that, too. Talks about what he thinks of Sarah Palin, Bristol. Uh, talks about uh, the advice together, the advice that she, what she said to him the night uh, that it turned out that the Democrats had taken control of Congress. What advice did she give him? And I brought uh, just a little uh, piece of it, and I have to say that their dog is cuter than my dog. <laughs> this is a little bit of the, of, the, uh, of the special that you will see this Friday night. Okay? It's uh, <laughs> Bo. Hello, Bo. How are you? How are you doing, buddy? He oh, is cute. Okay. Does, does he do anything? He's clean. Hello. He Let's see if he will. What does Let's he do? Does he see. shake hands? Come on. Bobo. Bobo, do you shake hands? There yes. we go. There you go. Yes. Good job. Good, good boy. You know, when we've been together, I have asked you about uh, something you do at dinner uh, most nights, and that is you describe the rose, the good thing that happened, and the thorn. Right. So this Thanksgiving, look back. What's been the rose and what's been the thorn? Well, I, I've got a lot of roses. Uh, my family's happy and healthy, and they're doing wonderfully. Um, you know, we have been able to make progress on a lot of issues that are helping a lot of people. Now, on the thorn side... The Republicans. Oh, no. <laughs> no, the... Uh, uh, you know, uh, the fact that we haven't been able to make a bigger dent in unemployment during the course of this year, and that's something that, you know, will keep poking me. Uh, until until we solve it. Mrs. Obama, the rose, the thorn? I think the the rose is always my 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 children, my family, the going to the bases, military bases, visiting the families. I mean that's some of the best work that I do. Uh, and it keeps you focused on on what's important and you and then you understand what real sacrifice is. What do you say? I hug them. Yeah. I cry with them. Yeah. I tell them how sorry um, uh, I, I am or feel for their loss, that there is no way on earth that I could possibly know how they feel. So I figure all I can do is come back here and keep working. Do you have a Thanksgiving message that you'd like to give to the country? I, I just want to remind people of how incredibly resilient this country is. We've always been able to pull together and make our way uh, towards a brighter future for our kids and our grandkids. And this time's going to be no different. Mrs. Obama, do you have a Thanksgiving message for families? I think um, I would uh, urge people to use this time to come together as families and community. And don't, don't take it for granted. Um, be kind to each other and uh, laugh a little bit. Uh, and don't worry about how much you eat. <laughs> Just enjoy it. <laughs> you mean you're not going to this tell them the because time. of obesity? Have you know? pie. <laughs> eat the dressing. <laughs> she's off the obesity rack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At that point, yeah, she's off. Yeah, you know, we, are. we asked what advice she gave. You know, did they sit up the election night and watch? And she said, watch. She said, I went to sleep. She said, you know, I have my work out in the morning and, you know, I go to sleep early and whatever That's was going to cool. happen, happens anyway. She's a cool so cat. So I slept, you know. Yeah. yeah. And they're, they're, they are, um, they're very charming and, 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 and funny yeah. together. I love interviewing both of them. What, it, what was the biggest difference, Barbara, would you say? Because it was a year ago. Things were a little bit different, right? Two years ago that was we did the first. Was it two years ago? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Did you sense, like, before, a difference? Uh, two years was just before uh, he was inaugurated, but right. uh, but he was not the president. Mm. Um, I, if anything, I know this sounds funny, I found them closer, mm. you know. And, and well, one of the things, of course, is, as they both say, they live above the store, yeah. you know, and they talked about the girls a, a great deal. It, it was a serious interview because we did have to talk about... North Korea, and as I said, uh, you know, with the state of, of the country and so forth. But then together, they're very charming and funny. So I hope people will watch 10 o'clock Friday night. What is my publicist? Friday night. It's Friday night. 10 o'clock. Yeah. And the whole, if the kids are up, they'll enjoy it too. Let the kids watch. It's yeah. Now it's in the 2020 time slot. Yeah.
So just get used to the fact that instead of 2020, it's going to be Barbara Walters Thanksgiving with the president and Mrs. Obama on Friday. And we will be right back with more Hot Topics. Thanksgiving, the busiest travel day of the year, and everyone flying will be undergoing the new TSA security measures. Now, Sherry, you're flying with Jeffrey. Are you ready? I think I am ready. I explained to Jeffrey, I said, we're going to play a game when we get to the airport. Um, the, the people there, they're going to look for a prize in your pocket. <laughs> and I said, we're not going to tell them what a prize is. So when you get there, you're going to hold up your hands, and they're going to be pretending to find... And I said, they're going to look for a prize with Mommy. So I said, look for the prize with Mommy. And I was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. You know, but, and, and so, then there's no prize. And then, you know, but I said, if, if they can't find the prize, Jeffrey, mommy's going to give you the prize. Oh. So, I, so it's for him, I made it, and I said, you got to be really still when they, when they look for it, otherwise they can't, you know, they'll give find the, the prize. Give him the book as a prize. And then I, yeah, I'll give him the book as a prize, and I'm going to read it to him at the airport. Now, me for TSA, I'm looking forward to it, because I'm going to be like, you, you, and you. <laughs> So how are you going to explain that to your son? <laughs> oh, well, I was hoping he could go in the other room. Oh, okay. I Take asked, this room. is one of the questions that, that we asked Obama. Mm -hmm. What did he say? He, I said, you know, do we need the kind of pat-down that we've had at the airport? And he said, this is going to be something that evolves. We're going to have to work on it. Hopefully, technologies will improve. That We hope there'll be other ways of approaching it. And he said, I understand people's frustrations, but I also know that if there was an explosion in the air that killed a couple of hundred people and it turned out that we could have prevented it, that would be something that would be pretty upsetting to most of us, including me. That's true. So, I mean, that's the argument, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 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 But, and, you know, there are people protesting, still protesting the new TSA measures. They're calling today National Opt-Out Day, urging flyers to mm -hmm. submit to time-consuming pat-downs instead of passing through the body scanners, which could cripple air traffic. Now, this... I think, to me, and maybe this is a little far-fetched, but to me, that's like an act of terrorism. Sure, and their names are you out know? there. Jim Babb and George Donnelly, and I think you might be on track. Why uh, are their names not listed then for creating something that is dangerous in our airports to well, everybody? Yeah, yeah, you know, the thing about it, watch list. like we were Believe talking me. about, if you're creating a distraction, that means they're paying so much attention to you there could be something else happening well, that they're not paying Senator, attention to. What's his name? To. A Congressman Ron Paul says that we should all boycott the airlines until Ridiculous. the TSA fixes this. That's that's Ridiculous. And Thanks other people a lot. are saying that, too. Just don't fly. If the American people shut down, they would have to fix it. Thank you, know, you Congressman. Been... That's very... That's, <laughs> that's in the great American spirit. I just... I, I don't understand. You know, it, it, again, not everybody gets patted down. Right. It right. is... If you cripple the air flight... Where are these guys? Are they flying today? Are they going to opt out? Or are they home eating turkey? You know, well, they've got a website. Last, I mean, last night one, I interviewed an Israeli um, guy, you know, one of yeah, these yeah. commandos, and he, we were talking about, you know, the fact that they can now put an explosive in a body cavity. And what do you do about that? And he said, in Israel, when they talk to people, like, they say they're talking to them. By the time that conversation is over, the, the, the security person will know that that guy has that thing in his right. rectum or wherever he's trying, putting it. Yeah. They will know they he has it. But that, that's not one airport. Thing. Oh, I think they uh, have they more than one, but, but it's a smaller yeah, situation. Yeah, it's a smaller, you know, it's not like well, our, but all they over the do, country. They know what they're doing yeah. over there, and we should start to listen to what they are telling us to do. And it is not racial profiling. It is personality profiling. It is asking them questions. Where were you? Set. Where are you going? What kind of money are you taking well, out of the country? What we need to all do is, now, if we want to protest something, we need to say, well, you know, you want to keep us safe? Then start training people to do this. Maybe That's what TSA would be... It has to be like, you know, joining the FBI. I'm going to give my $200 towards that. But the That's people what that, oh, in customs yeah. actually do ask those questions. They, they should do. communicate yeah. with TSA and they it's should have true. access to that information. Well, now, that we should say... That part. Yeah. Yes, okay. we should say congratulations to John Travolta and Kelly Preston, yeah. who just welcomed a baby boy, Benjamin, weighing it at eight pounds, three ounces. Okay. It's a wonderful thing. Yeah. And now, Sherry, 
It's all about you right now. Well, it is all about you because <laughs> this holiday season, black diamonds are a hot new trend. Kmart stores are offering these half carat black diamond earrings set in 10 karat gold. Normally $300 on sale for just $89.99 in all Kmart stores and on Kmart.com. And thanks to Kmart, members of our studio audience are getting a pair for free. <laughs> We are from the terrace on the busiest travel day of the year. Come back. We'll be here. With North and South Korea trading fire and the fear of an attack on the busiest travel day in America, be thankful that we have an extremely capable man at the highest rank of our armed forces. We are honored on The View to welcome the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Admiral Mike Mullen, and his wife, Deborah. <laughs> so nice of you to come in. Thank you, Adam. Thank you. And on a, on a Thanksgiving week as well, we are really honored to have you here. Well, it's great to actually be with you. Thank you. So, you know, we're all talking about pat-downs and terrorist attacks and so forth. So one has to ask, are you worried? Obviously, we're all worried about terrorist attacks. How, how imminent? How, how worried should we be? Well, I think the recent events, the two cargo planes that had uh, bombs on them, the, certainly the... The uh, bomb that was in Times Square not too long ago, the Detroit bomber, uh, those are all very real and very indicative of the threat that's out there. And they're still out there. They're still trying to kill as many Americans as they can, so it's not going to go away. So if they have to pat us down, pat us down? Well, I, I, one of the things is... Uh, do they you, pat you down? No, no, I actually don't have to go through that. <laughs> oh, uh, do they pat you down, Mrs. <laughs> Miller? Mike wouldn't let them. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we fly separately because of his job. Uh -huh. But once he leaves a job, we'll be back on to regular commercial down. and we'll yes. be patted down. Yes, we will. Yes. Admiral, in North Korea, a, a lot of people are very worried that because we have this pact with, with South Korea, uh, that this could lead to a war. Well, I think uh, worrying is, uh, is something we ought, uh, ought to... Uh, stay with. It's a worrisome leadership in North Korea. I mean, he's a very unpredictable guy, very dangerous guy. Uh, this is also tied, I, we think, to the succession of this young 27-year-old who's going to take over at some point in the, the future. Sun, yeah. uh, and he continues, uh, he continues to uh, generate these kind of events. But do we send warships? Do we send troops? We have troops there. Do we send Well, war? we what have. We actually, do? we have 28,000 troops in the South. Mm -hmm. We're very much aligned with South Korea and supporting them. They're a strong ally. It's a region that we need to be very stable. Uh, this is a guy who creates instability routinely. Yeah, but what are you telling him to do? Well, we're working, I mean, we're working with allies. I think it's very important, uh, uh, certainly the Japanese uh, and the South Koreans, but I also think it's really important for China to leave China. here. The, yeah. the one country that has influence in Pyongyang is China, and so their leadership is absolutely critical. I mean, North Korea does have the, uh, the bomb. Well, they, they are certainly, uh, they've worked hard to develop nuclear weapons. Mm -hmm. the, the revelation last week of this uh, uranium enrichment facility yeah. is a big deal. Uh -huh. uh, it's actually, as was described, it's a very sophisticated, modern facility. So mm -hmm. he continues on that path. And he, him with nuclear weapons or his son is a very dangerous outcome for the long term. And it will de continue to destabilize a really important part of the world. Mrs. Mullen, you heard Mrs. Obama talking about our servicemen, and you, you are with the servicemen and women all the time. Do you think that they are being treated as they should when they come back home? Well, I meet with um, members, um, service members' families. I think one of the things that they would like to know is that the American people understand what their experiences are. We are less than 1% of the population. We are in fewer places. There are people that really don't know servicemen and women anymore. 
And so I, and there are also people that are doing wonderful things for our servicemen and women. But I think that we really need to call attention to what they have experienced, what their children have experienced, mm -hmm. and understand what their life is like and be ready for them when they return to communities. That's going to be the most important thing. Sure. As they leave these wars and go home to their communities across our nation, um, people need to be aware of them, know who they are, understand that they may have some needs, um, try and help them. Uh, basically, um, as Michael says, they have the same dreams they've always wanted, which is jobs, probably two jobs, and education. Mm -hmm. um, they'd like their children to have a good education, and they would like to own a piece of the rock, as Michael says. Sure. And um, the pathway to them getting there might be a little bit different because of what they've been through. Um, but I think that really we just all need to be aware as they return to our communities. Mrs. Mullen, one thing, a staggering statistic that came back is that I think it was a thousand military personnel killed themselves in the past five years. I mean, the rate of suicide for those in the military has increased dramatically. That's more than the civilian rate since the Vietnam War. What, is there anything specifically being done to help and prepare and prevent that situation? Well, suicide is a taboo in the civilian world. Nobody likes to talk about suicide. There really have been no studies done on suicide. The military actually is going to, I believe, lead the way in this because they have um, recently, about a year or so ago, begun a five-year study on suicide. And what they will learn, they will share with the rest of the country and with the world so that we have a better understanding. Um, it is probably the most devastating loss to a family. And when I meet with family members of someone who has committed suicide, um, they wish they had understood more what was going on. They thought they talked to their loved one. They thought they knew what they were doing to help. But, um, and then many of them really don't know where to turn, which is one of the reasons I like to mention um, the 1-800-273-TALK or 1-800-273-8255. If you really are, uh, if you have a family member that you're concerned about, civilian or military, who might be con talking about suicide or doing things that seem unusual, getting rid of things that they we'll, own. We'll put it on our website. Yes, okay. I, that would be wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And they, all they can, they can talk to someone who will be able to yeah. provide information for them. Speaking of, oh yeah, go ahead. I, I just wanted to ask you a question that is slightly lighter and frillier because I think it's amazing. You come, I think people will be kind of surprised to discover that you come from a sort of showbiz family. You're, you really like shows and movies, and, and your mom was the publicist for Jimmy Durante, is that? <laughs> no, my mom, my, my parents were both in the business. Right. Uh, I grew up in North Hollywood, California, and my dad was a publicist. Awesome. They actually met at Republic Studios uh, in, the, in the 40s, and they're a classic Depression family. Both went to the West Coast from right. the Midwest to find a brighter future, and, and uh, my dad ended up in that business. They met and married. My mom worked in the Durrani uh, offices there, but she raised five kids. And actually, uh, uh, my father passed away, uh, and when the kids were all gone, she became a publicist, and she worked. And you, she, beca and you became an admiral. I did. Yeah, I did. yeah sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure. Can, can I, before, before uh, we lose you, don't ask, don't tell. You have been in favor of repealing it. Uh, the head of the Marines is not. Uh, tell us where you think it's going to go. Well, it's hard to predict uh, exactly where it's going to go. In the next uh, couple of weeks, we will submit the, the report to Secretary Gates uh, that we've been working on all year. Congress has uh, said they're going to have hearings here during this lame duck session. Congress is very difficult to predict. For me, it's been, it's been my personal view that it's just very difficult in an institution that values integrity, which is what it does, what the military does, to have people show up to work every day and lie about who they are. Mm -hmm. oh, I That's began right. by saying for all of us that we're honored to have both of you here. Happy Thanks. Thanksgiving to you. Thanks. You have children who are also in the honor. Yeah. 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 How many? Two, two boys. Two, two boys also fighting for our country. Thank you, Admiral. Mrs. Mullins. Thank you so much.
Thank you very much. And we will be right back with all three of the Dancing with the Star finalists. So you know we got asked. Uh, th there were people blowing up their TV sets because yeah. they were upset yeah. Yeah. that you were on the show. You said you got a thick skin. You feel you deserve to be on that show. You show did it right there. So you feel you deserve to even make it to the, the final three. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. And you have, Mark, I mean, you've worked with, you have Bristol here, obviously, and I think really raw talent coming in. I mean, not <laughs> dancing, not knowing, but you've worked with Christy Yamaguchi and Sean Johnson, mm -hmm. won two times. Yeah. Some people suspect that there may be, like, a production involvement, producers involved in who's going to make it and who goes every week. Can you put those rumors there's to rest? not at all. I mean, if you have a favorite couple, you got to pick up and vote. You know, there's always something to complain about sure. when we have Christy, sorry, Mel B or Nicole Scherzinger, yeah. people are like, that's not fair, they have dance experience. I want to see someone with no dance experience. And yeah. you get it and people are like, that's not fair, she can't dance. <laughs> you know, he's always like, yeah. Either way, you can't win. What's more fulfilling for you as an instructor, someone who you have to really create them as a dancer Out or someone who's got some seasons, skill? This is probably my proudest moment because this is the first time We've never had someone with zero yes. performance, no reality show, no acting, no TV, no dancing, and uh, to take her this far is one of my proudest moments. So. And that's what we've said all along. You came through because you didn't have the acting, you didn't have the athletic stuff. Yeah. You, you found it. Now, what did your mama think of all the sexy outfits you had on? She was in the audience quite a bit yeah. when you had to shake and do all that. Even what did she in think? The cage. Yeah. yeah, she loved it. She said the cage part was her favorite part. Ah! <laughs> Oh, and, and, and tell me really quickly, what was the process? Because you drove in your truck five days. What was the process yeah. for just even being chosen? Um, I don't know. They had contacted me, and I wanted to jump right into it and get right. started with something like this. Congratulations Thank you. to you. You I have to say, this, baby. this pairing right here is something special. Absolutely. It really is. I mean, Kyle, you're so out of breath. I love it. But it's always full throttle effort every single time. You just and ate three pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but from you had a broad kid audience, right? Corey in the house. That's so she, that's so Raven. That's so Raven, yeah. I mean, all the kids knew you, but now all the adults love you, love you. <laughs> well, thank you. So thank you, you had the kids, now you've got the mom and the dad. Yes. How does that feel? Uh, it, it's cool, you know, because before it was the little kids tugging at their mom, like that's the guy. Yeah. Now it's like parents kicking kids out of the way, like that's the guy. <laughs> 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 it's kind of cool, though, you know? You know what, Lacey, this is your second time in the finals. Yeah. You got really close with Lance Bass yeah. when you're on there. Now you're, you were here with Kyle. How does it feel, girl, to be so close <laughs> and then you didn't get that ball? You know, I, I said this to Kyle. To be second place under Jennifer and Derek is just an honor. You know, they've been amazing all season, and we love them to pieces, and we never thought we'd be here, so we're just like, <laughs> you know? <laughs> well, we love those free moments because it's, it's just great to see what you guys really talk each other. I mean, you obviously, we saw a tough side of you, Lacey. Yeah. You were just laying down the law. Yeah. But, I mean, really, what do you, Kyle, what did you teach her? Really, I think I taught Lacey how to have fun. And, Patience. And <laughs> eat a few burgers. Eat you know? a few burgers? Yeah, like, what's with salad, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Overrated. It's like grass. We just want to say a hi, too, to your mom, Angel, who's out there in the audience, who's been watching Look all these her. years. She's all, sexy. all this time. <laughs> she was there. All right, you guys, thank you so much for coming. Dancing with the Stars winners, Jennifer Gray and Derek Huff are showing off their moves when we come back. Thank you guys so much. you are because after Monday night finding out that you had a ruptured disc serious mm -hmm. injury. Can I put this down? Yeah. 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 We're challenging you today. We're yeah. really challenging the view. Um, but you really pushed through and came very close to not being able to dance. True? Yes it's very true. I um, woke up yesterday morning having done our 
freestyle yeah. and really tried to keep up with the kids, you know, with the tricks and the flips <laughs> and doing whatever it was that Derek asked of me. And I ruptured my disc really badly. So yesterday morning I woke up, excruciating pain, went to the hospital. But you still had to dance. Yeah, did she you, did it. They did fixed you, me up. They yeah. fixed you up, right? They, no, but they, li they literally fix me up. Yeah. I mean, I don't know where your energy comes from or your resilience, but Derek, when you hear that that's happening to your partner, did you change the choreography at all for um, tomorrow? You know, we, we, we changed a few things, you know, we definitely uh, um, had her in some outfits that actually helped, you mm -hmm. know what I mean, the movement, so, you know, it, it, she, but she came out, she came out and she did it, and she gave it her all, and she finished it out, she finished the race, and she won. I, could, well, I couldn't bear not finishing it. It was just, I just had to do something. Nah, you, know, you, you inspired not only us, but the entire uh, world who was watching the show, Jennifer, of, of pushing through and the perseverance, like Carrie Ann and Alva said. But Derek, this is your third time. This is your third time yeah. winning this ball. Yeah. You won. <laughs> Three times in a row, you won with Brooke Burke, you uh -huh. won with Nicole Scherzinger, mm -hmm. and you won with Jennifer Grace. So, what's the what's the toughest thing about changing up your the choreography for someone like Jennifer who has injuries, uh, as opposed to someone else? Well, um, you know, what? it's more just yeah, just just going on their strengths and what they're good at. And and for Jennifer, you know, she was wonderful to work with. She has so much to it. So much talent, and, and for me, her, her the dancing was in her blood. It was in mm. her veins. She wasn't trained by any means, yeah, right. but it was in her, and I, I could her. feel that. And and that's what you saw when you saw her dance was that inside of her. So and, it was wonderful. And I want to mention another guy in your life, Clark Craig, your husband, oh. who was there cheering around the entire time. What was it like, though? What was it like for him to see you dancing with another guy on the dance floor? I gotta tell you, my husband is a very secure man. Yes, <laughs> and. and uh, and he knows, he knows that to me, he's the most irresistibly sexy man alive. Oh, so. oh. oh and the love continues. Okay, hey, what's, what's next for you? Just, this is it, baby. Just gotta be in the moment. Okay. Like, I'm trying to enjoy this. We're liking no, the moment I'm with not, you, I'm for not, sure. I'm not rushing any, out of this moment right now. I'm just trying to, like, just Soak savor it. it. Yeah. Soak it up and savor it. Well, well deserved, Thank both you. of yes. you. Our All thanks right. to Jennifer Gray and Derek Huff. We'll be right back. Thanksgiving, and as we all give thanks, if you have time, go visit one of the vets that are in the veterans' hospitals, because they'd mm -hmm. really be appreciative if you came by and said, hey, how you doing? You Barbara's special on Friday, don't forget, President and Mrs. Obama, together with Barbara Walters nice. in the 2020 time slot. <laughs> the cast of Dancing with the Stars. Kind of fantastic. I just held up the ball. And it's a heavy ball. It's a heavy yeah. ball to Can carry. Can you see roll, Whoopi? Yeah. yeah, and this one I've known since she was a baby. Yeah. And then your dog, Joel Gray. I knew you when you were this big. I was, I'm just always, that I'm big. I'm wow. this big. Wow. <laughs> well, as big as we all are right now, have a great day and happy Thanksgiving. Take a little time to enjoy the view.